Now, my next guest needs absolutely no introduction at all. All right, maybe a little quick one, but um, in case you haven't noticed, all right, should we, should we just reveal this? All right, yeah, so we, we have don't to. have the real Anna Winter here with us today, but we do have the next best thing. Okay, so according to Anna's daughter, B, I am I'm sitting right next to me. Well, Catherine is sitting next to me, but sitting <laughs> next to her is Ryan Rafferty. Now, he stars in a one-man show right here in New York City, playing who else? Miss Anna Wintour. And I know her daughter, B, went to go see you. She Instagrammed the picture. Her mom loved it. So this is with the, her blessing. But welcome, Anna, well, Ryan. Yeah. Wait, how, I don't know, how, what, what do we call you? You can call me Anna. Oh, great. She said, you say it with such conviction, I'm almost scared. Now, Anna, tell us about Fashion Week. What have you seen? What have you loved? I'll tell you, my favorite show this week was the, um, the designer, the fat one who smiles too much, <laughs> Victoria Beckham. <laughs> I love that one. She actually makes great clothes, and it's, it's coincidental that Baby Spice made these shoes. So, really? Yes, there's, I think all of the Spice Girls should make everyone's clothes. Wonderful. And I have to ask you, what's with the sunglasses, Anna? Oh, I have cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very vain. And there's Anna now. Now, have you met Anna? I have not. I, I, my, I'm, I'm confused if I'm supposed to break character. But, um, <laughs> um, Why, I, Anna, have you met Anna? <laughs> I've never, I, I've been to paradise, but I've never been to me. No, I've never, I've never, um, <laughs> I've never, we've never been introduced, but um, the show that I'm doing was inspired by a run-in with her on, uh, on the streets of Midtown. I was about to cross the street, and I looked to my left, and she was standing there, and I said, Good morning, Anna, and she just kind of glowered at me. And I, it was around the time that I was looking for a subject for my next show, and um, that's where there it was. all came from. Okay, yeah. so in your one-man show, which yes. I have to get down to see, and I'm so yes. excited, I can you break into songs. song and dance. I do. Anna sings, she dances, she hates what you're wearing. Oh, you are so going to get up and show us a little something. Wait, <laughs> what, is, what is your big yeah. number in the play? Um, uh, uh, well, the, the whole story of the show is Anna thinks that she's going to get fired for putting Kim and Kanye on the cover of the April issue. Okay. And and um, she gets a phone call from Cy Newhouse at the beginning of the show saying, uh, I'd like to see you at 5 o'clock. So she spends the entire show convinced that she's going to get fired. And um, she ruminates about her life. And the 11 o'clock number of the show is um, a parody of Let It Go from Frozen, where Anna sings, Let Me Go. <laughs> so it's, right. And it's kind of like her number where she's OK with getting their, oh, don't expect those to be Chanel because they're not. Oh, I, oh, I thought you were so going to check the bra. Oh, I'm, I'm checking out the label and I'm judging. Can I don't blame Anna you. Can we get Anna back here? Can we get Anna back here? Yeah, 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 Anna can come you're back. You're going to put that back on sure, and you're going to be sure. wearing your sunglasses at night. Yeah. Can we cut away from me for a second so then when you come back? <laughs> <laughs> I think pretty much everybody isn't going to be confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. Now, what have some of the reactions been to your one man play, Anna? <laughs> Why is that man in a dress? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, people, um, people have um, learned that I'm a real person with feelings and, um, you know, I'm just really looking forward to people coming and seeing the real story at Joe's Pub the next two Fridays at midnight here in New York. <laughs> <laughs> and what makes you feel feelings, Anna? Oh, menopause. <laughs> <laughs> All right. now. Since you're here, we have to get the real scoop from you. Yes. Please tell us about the ice bucket challenge. Now, you had all of the entire, your entire family. Yes. Dump a bucket of water on you. That is true. Well, I'm on this campaign to prove, make people realize that I am a real person, and I thought that it would humanize me, and, uh, you know, I hadn't showered in days, so I thought that it might be the best thing to have all the children who... I had never met any of those children before. I said they were my family, but we rented them for the day from a very, 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 very reliable place out in Mastic that rents out children for purposes just like this. <laughs> so I'm glad, I hope you all enjoyed it. Okay, so Kim and Kanye, I mean, everybody mm. wants to know the inside scoop. Were they always going to be the cover? Was there a lot of clandestine meetings? How did you make that happen, Anna? Well, we made it happen. We, we you know, Susan Plagerman, who's the publisher of Vogue, um, she and I had many different meetings about who we could bring onto the cover that would really up our social cachet. And we're trying to get Tila Tequila now, great. which I think would be another great cover for us. But the, everyone's to be on to be in Vogue has to mean something. But to be on the cover of Vogue, you have to be at the center of the, the cultural zeitgeist, which Kim and Kanye are. 
So that's why we had to have them on the cover, regardless of what the fashionistas think. This is the future. This is the way. This is where we're heading, and that is what Vogue has always strived to do. Are you and Kim friends? Do you guys hang out? Do you go shopping together? I've actually never met her. Okay. But um, I sat in on lots of meetings with people who have. <laughs> Anna, I have to say thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. It's been a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> and you as well. I love your hat. Thank you oh. so much, Anna. Anna, you don't wear hats. I do not wear hats. It I wear many. I ball. wear many figurative hats. <laughs> but yes, no real hats. You do. This is actually a wig, and this is Anna saying this. I'm, oh, Anna wears it. a wig All right, too. Well, I'm going to be down there to see you. Congratulations. Yes.